The emergence of Zygosis as a key player in the livestock business in Nigeria is now becoming a clear reality to every business partner and key sectors in agriculture and other parts of uh, the economy. Today, the unveiling of the future of Zygosis once again states the business metrics of this organization, which is becoming an example for other businesses in Nigeria. From the opening remarks of the CEO, Mr. Babajide Brown, to the statements by the President of the Poultry Association of Nigeria, Dr. Ayola Odontang, and also a very key uh, inspiring message from Dr. Dio Brown, the elder brother, to Mr. Babajide Brown. When we started Zygosis Nigeria Limited just a few years back, because quite frankly, uh, the year 2000 seems just like a few days ago, it seems just like yesterday. We had a dream <coughs> and a vision. We wanted a company that people would love to associate with. We wanted an organization that agreed, although for profit, yet was geared towards creating positive feelings in the lives of people it comes in contact with. We wanted to have a name that people would love to call, not just because the name sounded good or sweet or interesting or biological, but because, the, but because every experience that you have with the company was good. And we knew that the only way to, to do this was to work for the interest of our stakeholders. As you know, no one likes to be cheated or maltreated. Everyone loves to be appreciated. We all love to hang around those who seek our good. So what we did, we decided that Zygosis would seek the good of all our stakeholders. Of course, we did not get it right from day one. And even now, we are still striving. But I can confidently say that Zygosis Nigeria Limited has made progress in the direction of being a company that people are happy to relate with and do business with. As most of us in this industry, we know what agribusiness is. It's basically what we do. And regardless of what part of the value chain you are, you are in agribusiness. I would like to say that the poultry subsector, the uh, uh, livestock industry, which would form the focus of my talk today, is the leader in terms of organization and compliance with international standards. And I say this for the benefit of those who are in this room, who are not in our industry. We're very proud of that achievement. Next. If you look at the poultry industry, Nigeria is the number one producer of eggs. Now I said this in Cape Town last year, and a few people looked funny. You can't be serious. But I'm very, very proud of that. Because there are not very many things that Nigeria as a country can say is number one in. Except football and corruption. <laughs> but we can say, categorically, Nigeria is the number one producer of eggs in Africa. One of the greatest tragedies in life is that only a very small percentage of the world's population will respond to change effectively. As a matter of fact, many people will end up as just mere victims of change. Some people dread change. Others refuse to acknowledge it or even accept it. And these approaches are all futile and constitute a formula of frustration and failure. I want to observe that there are certain principles of change. Number one, nothing on earth is as permanent as change. This may sound like a paradox, because nothing else is so guaranteed. Number two, everything 
changes. Knowledge changes. Your views will change. Your understanding will change. Your friends will change. Your perspectives may change. Your opinions could change. Even your body changes. Your relationships will change. Your friends do change. Number three, change is inevitable. It is clear that this business is becoming an inspiration and changing the dynamics of how sustainable businesses in Nigeria should be. You know, people are saying if you put if you put Dr. Holiday in charge of one naira here, if you go back for 20 years and come and meet your one naira, yes. people describe him. People describe him as people describe him as a workaholic. Some people describe him as you know of quick understanding. People describe him in, in, in all the sorts of superlatives. As far as I'm concerned. Diversity Nigeria Limited is uh, lucky to have him. He's my personal friend. I like him so much. And also, when there is something urgent to deal with, the first thing that comes to mind is diagnosis. We have several occasions where, even when farmers know that they do not offer the product, they prefer to ask us to help them to source the product knowing that we are in flat organization, there are no protocols. And uh, on account of that, we can respond quickly. And uh, that has made our customers to value us as timely providers of quality products and services. Talk about the future of Nigeria and the business environment. We talk about policies. But when the policies are there, we need business metrics business plans and business organizations to step up the ideas to be sustainable and outlive even the visioner and that is what zygosis brings and that is where we should be heading this offers opportunity a platform to do to to put to practice a lot of things that one had in the head you know it's 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 easy to say if i were the driver i, I would have done this i would have done that now You've moved from being a spectator to being a player. So it's a challenge. But the, 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 the attraction in all this is that it's now time to, to act. I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic that um, um, the best is yet to come uh, with respect to zygosis and the livestock industry. We've come so far. And uh, I see a situation where the rate at which knowledge is being imbibed both by the government and the populace it's speeding up it's not as slow as it was in the past and that tells me that in the near uh, in the not so distant future uh, things will get better and uh, not minding how it looks right now i want to use this opportunity to thank very very wholeheartedly our new current minister of agriculture he is making great strides for once in the life of nigeria we have a minister that understands the pivotal role of agriculture in national development so things are going good in agriculture so cheaper access to funds is one thing the second thing is land ownership Nigerians need to be able to own land 100 percent and use that land to leverage financing the third thing, as we all know, we talk about it every time, is social infrastructure. Our government needs to um, invest heavily in social infrastructure, roads, education, housing, health, and so on. Social infrastructure is, is, is the way to go. So to go over it again, uh, cheaper access to funds, okay, uh, social infrastructure, and the ability for us, for Nigerians to be able to use the lands that they own to leverage to get funds.